You know what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be talking about how to improve your typing speed and get faster. In this video, I'm basically gonna be going through everything I did to get faster at typing, and it's gonna be so helpful, and you by the end of this are gonna be a so much faster typer. These are all my secrets I use. I'm spilling them, and let's get into it. And now, this video is perfect if you want to like quickly improve your typing speed. Now, typing speed naturally increases with time as you are typing on your keyboard more, and you could probably reach your target goal within like a couple years, maybe five years, I don't know. Or you can watch this video and get good in like less than a year. Okay, so first we're gonna start out with the basic beginner tips. If you've already been typing for a little while, these might be a bit repetitive, but I'm just gonna go over it since this is a tutorial on how to type faster and I'm gonna be covering like everything. First off, resting your hands on the home row. As you can see, there's like three letter rows and rest your hands mainly on the home row so you can get to the top fast and you can get to the bottom fast, you can go on the middle. My next tip is don't look at at the keys and basically to avoid doing this while you look down at your keyboard is to rest your hands on these little bezels you'll find on the home row they're on the F and J and basically you can put your two index fingers on it and then those are where you keep on originating to all keyboards basically have this my tip would be to commit to memorizing the keyboard of course you don't have to like place out every single key but just know where the keys are like which fingers what go to like this is a helpful visual for what we're doing this one's pretty simple, having like just arched, nicely arched hands over the keyboard. Okay, next is having loose hands. You don't want like overly stiff hands cause then you just won't be able to type fast. And plus like typing like this, oh my God, sorry. With like claw doesn't work. Like loosening it allows you to glide across the keyboard and like go to different levels. It'll definitely help you type faster. And then next is using a typing website. I have a few favorites, but I'm gonna be talking about them a bit. So these websites I like, I'll divide them into a few categories. First is typing.com. This is best for beginners. If you have no idea what the keys are, I use this to get an idea of like where to place my hands because before I would use three fingers and I really didn't know where to put my hands. So typing.com for beginners all the way. Typing.com is if you have like no sense of hand positioning, where to put your hands, you just don't know anything, that is the website to go to. Next is 10 Fast Fingers and Monkey Type. This is more like intermediate. If you actually know where to put all your hands, and they taught you this in like school or you just did the initiative. Anyway, this one is good for improving your speed. 10 Fast Fingers and Monkey Type are basically the same thing except Monkey Type allows you to do a lot more customization with like the background, font, timing. And then lastly is Type Racer. This is more for real life world situations. They actually include like the commas, the periods, the dots. And Type Racer also does real sentences, like ones that make grammatical sense, whereas the other ones are just random words split together, which is actually not really practical for everyday use. Okay, so next we're gonna be discussing external things you can do to modify your keyboard typing speed. So these are things you can buy, things you can do, some things that are easily changeable, like external factors. So we're gonna be discussing Keyboard selection, there are two types of keyboards, mechanical keyboards and then membrane keyboards. Okay, this is like my favorite part to talk about mainly because I am sort of obsessed with mechanical keyboards. Anyway, so my first tip is get a mechanical keyboard. They actually don't make you type faster. I can type a lot faster on membrane keyboards, which are like the normal ones you see that everyone has. But there are a few reasons why I like it. First is it's like so satisfying to type on a mechanical keyboard. They have like such cool sounds. It just is very satisfying and it just makes you want to type, which will make you want to practice, which will make you want to improve your typing speed. And then they have RGB. I didn't know that your keyboard could literally light up and it's just like gives you good vibes. I cannot stress the importance of getting an RGB keyboard. Like the rainbow just makes you feel something different. The sound is extremely motivating and it really makes you want to improve your speed because I just like hearing the sound of my keyboard and if I want to hear the sound of my keyboard, I'm gonna go typing and I'm gonna go practice and that is how I improved my speed so much is just because the keyboard sounded nice and I just wanted to hear myself that, which leads me into the different switches you can possibly choose that will help you 
type the fastest. And basically the whole gist of this next section is choose whatever switch you like. I don't think any of them actually makes you type faster. It just is all personal preference. So there is linear and this one, like the name sounds, just goes up and down in like a smooth fashion. And the next one is clicky and this one has like a click so and then there is tactile which is what i like to say is in between linear and clicky it's basically the clicky without the sound so that's why it's like kind of in the middle And also if you're wondering what keyboard am I using, I always get questions about this. Most of them are custom keyboards and they're kind of expensive, but I like IQ Unix for like fancy looking keyboards. I have this cat one and it's like really cute and they have like a bunch of other different designs. This is not sponsored. I have this cat one right here. Okay, so moving on to the regular membrane keyboard. If you actually do want the fastest typing speed, it is actually fastest, I find, just like trial and error. And since there's like less distance between the like key and like pressing down, membrane keyboards are so much faster, except they're not as satisfying and I just don't like typing on them. Okay, so my next one is having a full-size keyboard. Now, this doesn't matter if it's like a membrane or mechanical, just having the numpad on the side actually makes typing numbers so much faster. So if you want to get faster at typing numbers, definitely get a full-size keyboard with the numpad. For some reason, people are like, you only need a numpad if you're an accountant or like you're in finance. No, that is so untrue. I'm not in any of those and I still use the numpad, it's just helpful when it comes to numbers, you know, typing in your credit card, I don't know, student number. And to basically demonstrate how much faster I am at the number pad, I'm just gonna show you a little comparison. Okay, so next is the wrist rest, the handy dandy wrist rest. I cannot stress how much this wrist rest has been helpful. Let me give you like a little backstory. So I think I got like a cyst right here and it's like weird because I wasn't using a wrist rest and my hands were like always like bending on the hard table and it just kind of made things uncomfortable. I don't know if it's correlated. The doctor says it isn't, but I think it is. It is so much correlated because like my hand would be straining on my hard table for hours. So once I got a wrist rest, things turned out better, but I still have the cyst inside here. And then lastly is your desk and chair positioning. Now this sometimes can be modified, sometimes can't depending on what you're looking for. But if you haven't bought a desk or a chair yet or you're looking to get a new one, I definitely recommend getting height adjustable desk and chairs so you can have the optimal typing experience. When you're typing it, you want an elbow that is bent at like around 90 degrees and then you'll want to sit with a straight back and then you want your feet planted on the floor and this will just make things ergonomic and a lot easier. So next we're going to be talking about practice tips. So if you're really committed and I hope you are to improving your typing speed otherwise why would you click on the video? But <laughs> if you are going to be committed here are my practice tips to doing it on like these different websites it doesn't really matter what website you do whether it's like typing.com monkey type any any of those so my first one is minimize mistakes early in my stages of practicing i would just try to type as fast as i possibly could and like I'd have so much mistakes i'd probably be like 80% accurate which is so inefficient and it's not real life my Number one tip is aim for 100%. Typing everything without using the backspace is like really difficult. So I'd say between 95 and 100 is what you want to aim for. Anything below that is a bit suspicious and it's not really recommended and you should definitely do it slower to faster. If you see you're getting like 80% accuracy, but you're at like 100 words per minute, maybe try dialing it back, try getting that 100% and speeding things up. It is so much better for you long term. I wish I hadn't done that in the past where I just like type as fast as I possibly could with all the mistakes. It really doesn't help you long term. And next is 
when you're practicing playing a fast paced and aggressive song, like something that really gets your you going. Okay, so my jam is Hurricane by Bridget Mendler. It's so aggressive, but like, it just makes me wanna type faster. And I know this, like when I listen to that song, I can type maybe like five words per minute faster. Okay, my next practice tip is thinking of words as one. So when you're typing, you usually think of like, studying as like s-t-u-d-y-i-n-g like that but instead think of it as like studying just like jam it in and i watched another youtube video when i was trying to improve back in the day like a year ago and he was basically like think of the words as one instead of as like multiple letters next is you don't have to use all your fingers now you may think you have to use like all 10 fingers to be 100 percent efficient but honestly i think you could definitely be very efficient with only using like nine or eight fingers. And here's my reasoning behind it. So when you learn on typing.com, they're gonna make you try to use all your fingers. Sometimes just scrap it, just do what you want. Like you live your life, okay? I don't use my pinky on my right hand, but I use it a lot on my left hand, mainly because I played violin for too many years. Like using your pinky is actually hard. They say to use it, but if it's gonna make you slower because the pinky's so weak, don't use it. How often should you practice? I'd say 10 to 15 minutes. Back in like when I was really addicted to improving my keyboard speed, I still a little bit am, but like back in the day, I would do like 10 to 15 minutes of practice per day. Anything beyond that is just too much and then your hands get tired and then you keep on making mistakes and then your word speed keeps on decreasing. I don't know, for some reason, I always want to end on a good note. So like with a keyboard speed that's very satisfactory. And if your hands are tired and you've been practicing too long, it just keeps on going in a very vicious cycle that you can't end and you be frustrated at the end and it's not a good feeling. And then lastly, we're gonna be talking about the real world tips. So like these are things in the real world that you can do to change your keyboard speed. First is keyboard shortcuts. If you wanna get faster at typing, there are a bunch of different keyboards. Okay, so I have a custom mechanical keyboard and I programmed certain keys to do specific things. The shortcuts I programmed are command backspace and screenshot along with on my larger computer, I have group, link, copy, paste, undo, redo, and save. However, since the majority of us don't have a custom keyboard, shortcuts like command space brings up the spotlight and instead of searching the buttons for specific functions, shortcuts like these can save you tons of time. Next is cutting your nails. This might apply to you, might not, but if you have long nails, like a manicure, or you just have long nails in general, you actually will type a lot slower, and you probably do know this. You end up typing like this, and it's really uncomfortable. I know it from personal experience when I used to have long nails. Typing speed definitely increased by 10 words per minute once I cut my nails. And the last one is always practicing and always wanting to improve. I still don't type correctly. I don't type the fastest. I do want to improve my speed. I do want to hit like 150 words per minute. That'll probably take a very long time, but. And with that, we have finished the video. I genuinely hope that you can improve your typing speed with this video and you found it at least helpful so you can type faster. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.